Hi, welcome back to a new lesson. This is Lachami Kantiwari. In previous tutorial, I had taught you about mathematical trigonometric and the random function. And in this lesson, I am going to show you the coding, how you can code uh, these function into your Arduino. So I have connected my Arduino. You can see here showing that Arduino is connected there. Although uh, we can test it here by just uploading our uh, you know uh, the empathy project so it has been uploaded right uh, the successfully i don't know you know at the com number four is connected so let's start with the first abs function which we had basically what i'm going to do here i'm going to uh, tell you here what are those functions which we have currently we have abs we have a constraint Then we have a map function. Then we have a max and the mean, etc. We will see those. Okay. So here I have defined uh, uh, serial dot begin with the nine six zero zero bound rate. So the UART has been initialized into uh, the Arduino. So let's write here the serial dot println. Type here testing mathematical functions what we can do in fact uh, uh, we can paste it here okay so if I press ctrl and T it can automatically realign the content into a sketch and then I can go into a loop again let's say so the first I am going to define here a variable Let's say the int x is equal to minus 5 and then I'm going to print this x using serial dot println and uh, just print it with the abs x okay and let's upload this once it is uploaded we can see here into a serial monitor a 5 is being printed one more thing what we can do we can introduce a delay here so just to introduce a delay let's say here okay so the delay is also Arduino function which uh, takes input into millisecond numbers so we are going to introduce a 1000 millisecond delay and just upload this now you will see it will print the number at every second okay right now into next one i am going to set a constraint so the constraint is kind of it will always set a value in between something okay so let's say if i say here serial dot print ln okay so constraint it's 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 constraint actually it, it's a constraint and uh, let's say if we have oh sorry constraint if we have uh, x and i'm going to set here 10 to 20 so let's set it 0 0 to 20 so this should print 0 in this case okay so just upload this once we see here it is printing a 0 but if we change this x to the 5 we will see that this should print a 5 since the x is in between 0 and 5 sorry let's upload this okay and if i make it 25 then this should print a 20 okay so the constraint make a constraints in between these two numbers finally the next one we have a map value okay so if i say uh, serial dot print ln map x okay 
this value from 0 to 1 0 2 3 to 0 to 225 that's mean 0 will be mapped to the 0 and the 255 uh, 1023 will be mapped to the 255 and the in between value will be mapped accordingly in between 0 to 255 so here x is 25 in this case i am mapping this higher number to the lower number so the output would be always less than 25 okay so in this case what we can do we can upload this code and we can test it so see here the mapping is being done at the 6 so the moreover what is happening here so it is a kind of the division by 4 okay so I am going, I am, matched, I am mapping this 1023 to 255. <coughs> and into the next syntax, we have a mean. If I say here a mean of the two number, let's say 1 and the 2, in this case one will be printed and the similarly if I say the max print ln one and the two so in this case the one and the two will be printed so the, in, in the first one one will be printed in second one the two will be printed so see here the one and the two okay so to make it more viable what i'm going to do i'm going to comment this and then i'm going to upload it once it is uploaded you can see here it's printing here one and the two one and the two okay so similarly again i'm going to comment these two and now i have a power function so let's make it serial dot println power in the first one we have a base 2 and then let's say the 10 this should print 1024 and uh, then we have a square and the square root serial dot println so let's take a square of 10 that should print 100 okay that's the sq actually and then we have a serial dot print ln of a square root that's the sqrt let's take 100 square root of uh, uh, 1000 okay right so let's print it so once we upload this code then we need to print it once it is uploaded then we can see here so the first one is returning into a long we can stop auto scrolling so that is 1024 okay so the power of 2 power 10 and then 100 square of 10 is 100 and then we have a square root of 1000 is 31.62 great now let's comment this and now we are going to test the trigonometric functions the trigonometric functions like cos sine and the radian okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to generate generate a sine wave so sine wave generation is fairly simple for that we are going to uh, make this number let's say x is equal to the 0 and then I am going to increment this x y1 so x is equal to the x plus 1 and then serial dot print ln and then I am going to call a sine function and uh, input of the sine function would be double 
okay it, it's a kind of the type casting so the type casting of uh, you know it's it, it's a, a sign takes a input into a radian so to convert this x into radian we need to divide this y pi and that is uh, the pi okay so that is 3.14 once we divide this x y 3.14 then we will get our uh, uh, the value into radian so the double will make sure that the integer value of x should not be at zero and after that we can put that x here so let's upload this once it is uploaded then we will check it into a serial plotter so now see into a serial plotter you can see here very nice sinusoidal wave has been generated if you want to change the frequency just multiply it with the 2 so here frequency is 1 hertz so here 2 so it, it's a kind of a function like sine uh, the 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by f multiplied by t okay so here f you keep multiplying so the frequency will increase and if we divide this let's say if we divide this by 2 so the 2 multiplied by 3.14 then the frequency would be you know the half see here this is the beautiful okay so this is all about in this video thank you so much for watching this tutorial please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day